then don't accept that job. The major sins, as you know, uh, of course you should do that. But if you can't avoid it, and most of the jobs have some element of haram, then we say... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're watching, I'm so glad to have you. Oh yeah, thank you so, so much for clicking. So, which job are allowed and forbidden for Muslims? This man asked a question. And this question was directed to Sheikh Doctor. It's um, out Adad. So, let's watch. The next issue I would like to discuss, inshallah, is the topic of getting halal jobs in our society. Because as a Muslim living in the West, in almost every field you go, you must compromise certain parts of your religion. Either if you're working at a store or you're working as a, say any kind of field, there might be some kind of compromise you need to do. To what degree are we allowed to compromise to find a job? and what is absolutely not allowed and do yes let's take this one first and I'll continue later on shall is there anyone who would like to elaborate on this topic hmm. they're very tough one hmm. who wants to go first <laughs> nobody wants. oh my goodness <laughs> it's a very tough okay. question Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim yeah this is a very interesting topic and normally people do ask about this uh, first of all, we have to admit that it is very difficult to find a purely halal job in most of the non-Muslim countries and now, to be honest with you, in many Muslim countries. Yes? In fact, because of modernity or modernization, it becomes very difficult for us and, and the prevalent of uh, so many non-Islamic systems even in Muslim world it became very difficult to find a purely halal job. So what do we do? What do we do? The general theme is fear Allah as much as you can. Now, in order to implement this on our uh, situation, we say that, first of all, avoid any job that makes you involved in one of the major sins. So if this job, entails that you will be doing one of the major sins then don't accept that job the major sins as you know are killing dealing with riba yes uh, i will mention the relevant of them uh, of course riba is not mentioned in the hadith but it is one of the major sins uh, zina yes and supporting the enemies of Allah against the Muslims. Yeah, this is also a major sin. These are the main major sins that we are talking about. Doing also harm for any human being, whether he is a Muslim or not a Muslim. Okay, these are the basics. So if, you, if your job is... Uh, you will be involved in one of those major sins or other major sins, then don't accept that job whatsoever. The second point, if your job helps achieving those five or those major sins, whether the five or others, so you are indirectly involved in those major sins, then you are not allowed to do it. I'll give you an example. If your job as a computer engineer or as a, com a software uh, development uh, asks you to develop pornography websites, will you do that or not? Will you do that or not? Of course you will not do that. If your job asks you to develop bombs that will be used to, uh, to kill whether Muslims or non-Muslims, will you do that or not? You should not do that, okay? And you can judge it. So these are the guidelines that, uh, uh, some of the guidelines. Now, if the job 
involves something that is haram, but that does not lead to those, those major sins, directly or indirectly, then it can be overlooked. Yes? It can be overlooked. For example, you are working for uh, uh, one of the, 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 the famous uh, uh, supermarkets. And sometimes you have to organize the food that is not halal food. Yeah? You have to shelf it. That can be overlooked in the West. In fact, what can be overlooked is if you work on a till. And sometimes you might be asked to uh, scan a bottle of wine. If you can avoid it, then of course you should do that. But if you can't avoid it, and most of the jobs have some element of haram, then we say, do it, fear Allah as much as you can, and, uh, and then ask Allah for forgiveness. Okay? Uh, something like this. Um, if, for example, you are a postman, of course there will be an element of haram in your job, because you are going to distribute some posts that might have haram material. But that is not directly involved uh, or that is not direct, directly leading to one of those major sins. So that can be overlooked. This is the general guideline. Uh, there, was, there is one more important guideline for sisters in particular. That if your job, uh, if your job forces you or the nature of your job forces you to have excessive intermingling with the opposite gender, then you have to be careful about that job. Yes? Same thing with brothers, but brothers have the ability to control their job more than sisters. Sometimes sisters might be asked to do certain things. Yes, uh, last week I remember, no, no, in fact last month, I received a question from Norway, in fact. Was it from Norway or from uh, the Netherlands? N the Netherlands, yes. The sister was working for an elderly house. And she was asked to uh, clean the private parts of some of the elder people. Yes, her job. And we said to her that, sister, you should find another job. Because if that thing is going to happen frequently, then there, there is a real problem uh, with it. So, but with brothers, maybe the level of control maybe is a little bit high. So if for sisters, if that job may lead you to have uh, excessive intermingling with the opposite gender, then you have to be careful. Other than that, fear Allah as much as you can. Okay, so um, this person asks this question, and I think this kind of jobs generally shouldn't only be forbidden. It's like I think all religion should forbid it because any illegal job should be forbidden. Any jobs that require you to do something very dangerous and illegal should be forbidden in Islam and all other religion, be it you know killing duping or what people call scamming all those illegal things that is harmful to your neighbor it's harmful to another person that's the kind of job you should not put your hand into it's very forbidden in islam even i think generally it should be forbidden so i really love this man's comment on it even though in the beginning you know no <laughs> they were pushing it at each other who should you know give the comment or talk about it then this man you know took the floor and that was a beautiful answer i really enjoyed it thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts i'll see you in the next one bye